What's up, gang gang? Back from a huge couple days in Detroit. When I tell you it was intense, I mean it was intense. That place was lit. And they were ready up there. And there were uh, people from all walks of life up there supporting their candidates. And we had run-ins with MAGA people. When I tell y'all we got footage that you are only going to see on this channel, that's exactly what I mean, y'all. Listen, I didn't go see any sites. I put in straight work while I was up there in Detroit. Uh, shout outs to Mindful Skeptics Podcast. He helped us out, helped us get some footage. Uh, he was an honorary Yang Gang for the day, and he put in work with us. So, huge shout outs to him. We'll put his, the link to his channel below. We're going to do a podcast with him soon. We're in August now, y'all. We got a big trip coming up where we want to get up to New Hampshire, but it's going to take y'all. Uh, there are now six events. Six on the calendar. That's a whole lot of Andrew Yang coming to y'all. But we're going to need y'all's help. It's going to cost $1,100 for the plane tickets. That's if we fly. That's which if would we fly. Be after his 10 and a half hour to Detroit, he realized... He doesn't want to drive 15 hours with a four-year-old. Oh, Lord, y'all. <laughs> Listen, that trip was intense yesterday. When she says 10 and a half hours, that's what I drove. I started out from Detroit, and I made it back to North Carolina. I drove 10. I didn't stop for food. I didn't stop for fuel. I didn't stop to use the restroom. I drove 10 and a half hours straight and did not stop until I was five minutes at the gas station. <laughs> I had to stop then. I was five minutes away from home. So if we can, we'd love to fly. If we can't, then we'll drive that far because we love y'all and we want to bring y'all this coverage. Huge shout outs to everybody that donated. And the links are in the description. You want to tell them who we got? In this video, we have an exclusive interview with Steve Marchand. He is the former mayor of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Portsmouth? He is a big uh, endorser of Andrew Yang, and he works very, very closely with the Andrew Yang campaign. And huge shout outs to him. Uh, check him out on Twitter. He'll give you that Twitter address in the video. And Steve, we appreciate the time that you spent with us, with the Grassroots Yang Gang, and huge shout outs to you. Our boy smashed it at the debates. We hope you enjoy this video. Yang Gang, we are picking up steam. Let's go, Yang Gang. If you bring a wave crashing down on our heads. Thank you. We are doing it. We like. You are getting f***ed. And so if you want to help me on you, they like vote me into office. Challenge fucking accepted! Alright, gang gang. Looks like the gang is starting to show up. See how we just bypass this table, this media. I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, good it's to good to see you too. So, I just kind of wanted to like pick your brain for a second because, okay. you know, we all got excited as the Yang Gang, when we hit that fourth pole. That's right. Then we got very, very unexcited <laughs> when they took it from us. Now, I'm kind of of the mindset that it doesn't matter if they count that pole or not because the Yang Gang is going to step up and we're going to get us there one way or another. Yep. But I just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on, on why you think maybe that the DNC disqualified that pole. Well, first, we were surprised. Um, there's not much precedent for the DNC making a decision like that so far in this cycle. And of course, the polls are incredibly important. They decide who is and who is not on the debate stage, and, and really who gets to go on and not go on. So uh, we still feel like uh, we were right, uh, that the Wall Street Journal and NBC are two separate and equally valid pollsters, and, uh, but it is what it is. The DNC is the final arbiter. But here's the thing. Um, we got three polls. Nobody denies that. There are going to be a slew of polls that come out starting later this week after the two debates, uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, 
Another poll came out today from Emerson. It's not a sanctioned poll. Showed us again above the 2% mark. We are consistently now, all, most of the time, uh, at or above that number. 5% in a New Hampshire poll a little over a week ago. So we're completely confident we'll get that fourth official poll one way or the other in the next several days. We already got the donors, as most people know, and we're going to the fall. Uh, and we know that the Yang Gang keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, folks that didn't know much about them are now coming up to me at events in New Hampshire and other places, and they're like, now I understand why people were excited early. Uh, and, um, and on that stage tomorrow night, it should be noted that you got the two big dogs that everybody talks about that night, Biden and Harris. Well, who's right next to Harris? Our guy. I mean, he is now creeping up. He is, as of yesterday, in sixth place uh, on the Real Clear Politics average. So you got the big five that we've been talking about forever, getting all the media attention. And he's climbed past Beto and Booker and Klobuchar and Castro and all these senators and all these Congress people and all these governors. He's in sixth place. So we know what's next, the top five. And as they say, there's a, to paraphrase, uh, there's a message the Yang Gang is sending. And the message is this, objects in your mirror may be closer than they appear. Wow, so you're saying that the tidal wave is getting bigger. It's definitely getting bigger. By every metric, it's getting bigger. The fundraising, um, social media followers like Twitter and so forth, um, slowly the media attention even. You know when that happens, then you know, you know it's really moving. And the polls. I mean, when you think about Andrew's name ID, is still a fraction of so many of the people that he has now blown by. Um, and I think he's going to do great tomorrow night. I know he's prepared. Uh, he's confident. You know, a lot of folks tomorrow night are going to be throwing mud around because for more than half of the 20 candidates on these two stages, um, tomorrow night or tonight may represent the end of the road because they don't have any polls and they don't have enough donors and they're getting 0% in these polls. So they need a big moment, a reality TV kind of moment. And our attitude is this, that's not Andrew's game. Andrew is not a reality TV kind of candidate. That kind of candidacy is what got Donald Trump elected. And the way to defeat a reality television president is not gonna be with the reality television nominee. We need a serious nominee who actually can solve the problems that got Donald Trump elected in the first place. Right. And that's what we got. So uh, tomorrow night you'll see that. And, uh, and then the day after we wake up and we do it again. So let me ask you, if you could tell the Yang Gang uh, one thing, like the most important thing that the Yang Gang can do, what would that be? I guess a couple of things. One is, this is a very practical thing. Um, we're doing a lot of phone banking into the early states. I live in New Hampshire. I Obviously, I worry a lot about New Hampshire. And the technology allows uh, Andrew's supporters, no matter what state they live in, to be able to do a virtual phone bank. And it allows you to call in to a targeted list of voters that we know are paying attention now that are likely to vote in the primary next uh, February. And we've had nights, we had one night last week where we had a nice group at our Nashua office in New Hampshire. But they were augmented by up to 60 virtual phone bankers from different parts of the country that were not in New Hampshire. And we were able to make 15,000 phone calls in two hours. 15,000 wow. to targeted New Hampshire voters. Yang That's gang, y'all, that is huge. That is a huge number for targeted voters. I mean, New Hampshire's not a big state. Yeah. These are targeted voters. And we, we've got the same kind of program underway in Iowa, in South Carolina, uh, and the, the more people we have that are able to give an hour or two at a coordinated time, and it's a simple program. You can go on the website. You go on yang2020.com, and they have instructions on how to join in. Um, you can go to uh, my uh, Twitter page, at uh, Marsha and Steve, and, uh, and we frequently say, hey, we're going to have another one of these you know, next week. Uh, click this link in order to volunteer and get the quick tutorial. It takes a few minutes, and then you're able to be part of the, the virtual phone bank universe. That makes an enormous difference. And then the other thing, keep giving your $2, $5, $10, $20. Um, we're not gonna raise 30 million bucks by you know maxed out big dog contributors. There's no, we're not talking PAC money, no corporate PAC money, corporate money, maxed out donors. We don't have that. 
you know, 99.6% of our donations in the last quarter that just ended were under the $200 reporting threshold. That's unbelievable. We make Bernie's donors look like uh, big money. Uh, and, uh, and that is what allows Andrew to be this kind of independent spirit that's part of what makes him such a, a compelling candidate. So keep on giving your five bucks, do the virtual phone bank, and spread the word. Tell your friends, no matter what state you live in, about Andrew. If his name ID remotely matches the five folks that are left ahead of him, well then, who knows where this thing's going to end up? I think it's going to end up at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is where it's going to end up. You know what we call all of those five and ten and twenty dollar donations? We call that the broke folk vote. That's what it is. <laughs> it's the real people. It's the real world. That's right. Um, and it adds up. I mean, he raised about a little over 2.8 million bucks last quarter. And you look at people that have big titles in front of their names that have been raising money for their own federal and statewide campaigns for sometimes decades that were not able to raise as much money as Andrew because they have far fewer donors that are giving much more per person. They're getting thousand dollar donations. It's illegal, I'm not saying it's illegal, but I am saying it's not sustainable. And sustainable is when you've got an army of hundreds of thousands of people that over time are willing to give you from a dollar to 20 bucks or whatever they can do. And, uh, and that's why it's going to get bigger every quarter throughout this campaign, and we've seen that. So um, I know I speak for Andrew and the campaign. A ton of gratitude to everybody who is helping out because he cannot do it alone, and he's not doing it alone. I appreciate your time, bro. You got it. Awesome. Bloopers. Blooper time. Blooper time. <laughs> oh, thinking about it. I knew it. you like to okay. want to introduce the video? Oh. <laughs> In this video. <laughs> Google it. Put my phone's up there. <laughs> Portsmouth. Portsmouth. <laughs> Portsmouth. Right? And he's a big and uh We love that we are old. We'll see you on Wednesday. Or well, maybe Tuesday. Wait. <laughs> Today's Friday. <laughs> we hope you did. Yummy, 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 yummy. Uh, you. Ah, oh, 